Imagine being locked in a floating steel tube for three months with no sunlight, no fresh air, and no escape. Now imagine that tube is carrying over 100 nuclear warheads, cruising silently beneath the ocean like a ghost with a grudge. What's it like to live in a giant underwater missile launcher? Is it cramped or surprisingly cozy? How do sailors survive months without sunlight or fresh air? Do they serve pizza? Welcome to life aboard the Ohio-class submarine, the largest and most powerful sub in the U.S. Navy. Imagine a city beneath the sea, hidden in the depths, invisible to satellites, yet capable of altering the fate of nations. That's not a sci-fi plot. USS Ohio, the lead boat of her class of nuclear-powered fleet ballistic missile submarines, SSBN, is the fourth vessel of the United States Navy to be named for the U.S. state of Ohio. The Ohio class is massive. At 560 feet long and 42 feet wide, it's about as long as the Washington Monument is tall. Once submerged, it displaces over 18,750 tons. That's roughly the weight of 50 Boeing 747s. What's even more impressive? It slips through the ocean almost silently, like a ghost. This stealth is thanks to its specially designed hull, coated with anechoic tiles, rubber-like material that absorbs sonar, and powered by a nuclear reactor that requires no refueling for over 30 years. Step inside, and you enter a world with no day or night, just red-lit corridors and soft mechanical hums. Crew members sleep in stacked bunks the size of a coffin, with curtains for privacy. There's no Wi-Fi, no windows, and barely any personal space. But there is a gym, a small chapel, and even a movie server with Hollywood classics to boost morale. The Ohio-class submarines were constructed between 1981 and 1997. Each of them is powered by a GES-8G pressure water reactor with two turbines that provide 45 megawatts, which drive a single shaft. The boats are capable of maintaining a top speed of 25 knots while submerged. Equipped with low-frequency active sonar arrays, the sub can detect ships and other subs from hundreds of miles away. When stealth is critical, the sub enters ultra-quiet mode. No talking, no banging. Every movement is controlled to avoid detection by enemy sonar. But stealth isn't the only priority. Tucked inside this giant vessel, is a fully equipped machine shop, complete with welding tools, lathes, and even 3D printers. If a pipe cracks or a valve fails, the crew doesn't just report it, they fix it on the spot, even thousands of feet underwater. Submarines like the Ohio class generate their own oxygen through electrolysis, splitting water molecules into hydrogen and breathable O2. Carbon dioxide is scrubbed from the air with chemical filters, and fresh water is created by distilling seawater. Let's not forget the real reason these giants exist. The Trident II D-5 missile. One Ohio-class SSBN can carry up to 20 of these intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and each missile can deliver up to eight nuclear warheads to different targets. In total, just one submarine can carry more than 100 nuclear warheads, each one many times more powerful than the bombs dropped in World War II. Originally built as SSBN's ballistic missile submarines, four Ohio-class vessels were transformed into SSGNs, guided missile subs in the early 2000s. These four, USS Ohio, USS Michigan, USS Florida, and USS Georgia, now carry up to 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles. That's more than the entire air wing of some countries. They also carry SEAL teams, mini submarines, and special ops gear. The dry deck shelters mounted on top can launch divers and underwater drones, perfect for stealth missions near enemy shores. To sustain these demanding missions 24-7 means no long breaks. So the Navy runs two alternating crews per submarine blue crew and gold crew. Each rotates every 70 to 90 days. 
This keeps the submarines at sea as much as possible, maximizing deterrence. The two sets of crews each consist of 15 officers, including their own captain, and 144 enlisted sailors. During deployment, the submarines spend approximately 70 days at sea, followed by 25 days in the dock for maintenance. Each of the SSBNs spends at least 66% of the time at sea. These crews train intensively and undergo psychological screening. Living in a metal tube underwater for months requires more than technical skills. It demands mental toughness, discipline, and trust. Mistakes aren't just costly, they're catastrophic. So what does this extreme life look like from the inside? Let's head into the control room, the beating heart of the submarine. At the heart of the sub sits the control room, also known as the con. This is where the commanding officer and navigation crew monitor the ship's course, depth, sonar, and surroundings. It's full of glowing screens, levers, and joysticks. It's the nerve center for steering the hub, tracking potential threats, and initiating missile launches if ever ordered. Fire to four. The galley is tiny, but it works nonstop. It's about the size of a small food truck and is run by a team of cooks working around the clock. They prepare four meals a day in rotating shifts. Menus include everything from eggs and pancakes to tacos and spaghetti. There's even a Navy cookbook. One fan favorite, Navy Chili Mac. And yes, there's dessert, cookies, cakes, and sometimes hand-churned ice cream. Fresh ingredients run out after a week or two, so the rest is frozen, dried, or canned. Still, the culinary team pulls off small miracles daily. Just across from the galley is the mess deck, basically the dining area. Seating is limited, so sailors eat in ships. This room doubles as a social space, a lecture room, and sometimes even a movie theater. Every submarine has a digital media server filled with thousands of songs, shows, and movies. Personal devices can be plugged in, but there's no internet while submerged, so it's all downloaded in advance. A crew favorite is Steel Beach, an unofficial tradition where, during long patrols, the mess is decorated like a beach and everyone eats burgers and wears Hawaiian shirts for a day. Space is tight. Sailors sleep in triple stacked bunks just barely long enough to stretch out. Each rack has a curtain for privacy, a reading light, and a small locker underneath. Junior sailors often hot rack, meaning they share a bunk with someone on the opposite shift. One sleeps while the other works. Officers and chiefs get slightly more privacy, but luxury is relative. Despite the conditions, many crew members say the submarine becomes a kind of second home. Even 500 feet below the ocean, you're not completely cut off from home. The Ohio-class submarine uses burst satellite communications to send and receive short text-only emails. Bathrooms are called heads in Navy lingo. There are just a few per submarine, one or two for officers, a couple more for enlisted crew. Each head includes toilets, tiny sinks, and showers. Showers are short, usually two minutes. Water is made on board by distilling seawater, but conserving it is still a top priority. There is a compact gym area tucked away, usually with a treadmill, a stationary bike, a rowing machine, and some free weights. It's small, but it keeps the crew fit and sane. Fitness is not just a hobby here, it's mandatory. Staying strong and alert is critical when you're operating complex systems in a stressful environment. There's no fire department at sea. Every crew member, from cook to commander, is trained in firefighting, damage control, and emergency medicine. When disaster strikes underwater, be it a fire, flood, or injury, there's no 911 to call. The crew must handle it themselves, fast and flawlessly. The submarine has a basic medical bay and a dentist's chair, but no permanent dentist on board. In case of emergencies, a Navy corpsman, trained in advanced field medicine, might perform procedures with remote guidance from experts on land. 
Imagine a toothache in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Now imagine treating it yourself. Still, there are moments when no amount of skill or training can change the outcome. Submarines have protocols in place for death at sea. If a crew member passes away on board, whether due to illness, accident, or rare tragedy, the body is respectfully preserved in a sealed body bag, stored in cold storage until the submarine can return to port. Becoming a submariner is no small feat. Candidates undergo intense psychological evaluations, background checks, security clearances, and months of nuclear reactor training and damage control drills. Why? Because they must function under enormous pressure, physically and mentally. Submariners are known to be among the Navy's smartest, most focused, and emotionally balanced sailors. With all that training and discipline, it's no surprise submariners are trusted with the Navy's most secretive and strategic missions. Many Ohio-class patrols are classified, but there are whispers. One mission involved deploying special forces near the coast of North Korea. Also, they've sailed under polar ice caps, hovered near the Persian Gulf, and watched coastlines most of us will never set foot on. As mighty as they are, the Ohio-class subs are aging. Their replacements, the Columbia-class, are currently in development. These next-gen giants will be even quieter, stealthier, and more advanced. Set to begin patrols in the 2030s, the Columbia-class will include improved sonar, electric drive propulsion, and enhanced living conditions for sailors. But make no mistake, Ohio will remain a legend. In 2020, it was announced that Ohio would be decommissioned and entered the Ship Submarine Recycling Program by 2026. Armed to the teeth, these submarines are not designed to strike first. They are a part of nuclear deterrence strategy, designed to prevent war by promising swift, catastrophic retaliation. In a world of drones and cyber warfare, the Ohio-class submarine remains a chilling reminder that ultimate power still lies beneath the waves. Its silence is its strength, its invisibility is its weapon, and its presence, though unseen, is what keeps global nuclear war at bay. So next time you're feeling a little claustrophobic, just remember, there's someone right now sipping reheated coffee in a metal tube 1,000 feet underwater, casually babysitting 20 nuclear missiles. No big deal. The Ohio-class submarine isn't just about military might. It's a moving city of steel, science, and survival. And yet, it's only one secret the ocean holds. Curious what else is hidden beneath the surface or behind closed doors on land? Dive deeper into our channel. From the mysteries inside Air Force One to the hidden chambers of the Vatican, we explore the places most people only dream or fear of going. Hit that subscribe button because the world is full of locked doors and we've got the keys.